Hello, this is Corey with Life in the Grid, and I'd like to welcome you to the Play It plugin tutorial series. This is the first video in a series of videos designed to help you use Play It in your website. In this video, we'll run through a high level demonstration of how the plugin works. So, what exactly is Play It? Well, in short, Play It is a way to organize individual media types or all your media into one centralized interface. You can easily group all kinds of media types. For example, when using audio files, you can create categorized music lists, podcasts, or audiobooks. Organize all your videos into one interface no matter where it's hosted. Easily integrate with services like YouTube, Vimeo, and Hulu. Create photo galleries using your own server or link to galleries like Flickr, SmugMug, and Picasa. Group and organize your links into a comprehensive link portal. Link to web pages, PDF docs, MP4 files, or just about anything your browser can render. Who is Play It for? Anyone. Play It is intuitively designed to be used by non programmers, yet sophisticated enough for programming interactions. Used right out of the box, there's really no coding required. Play It can easily integrate into any platform, including popular blogging systems like WordPress, Tumblr, Drupal, and just about any system you can imagine. You dream it, and you can play it. So let's start by taking a simple look at a Play It demo. All right, so here we are in the All About Play It demo. Now this demo comes bundled with your version of Play It, and what it does is cover all the aspects of Play It. Now what we're gonna be talking about here real quickly are data sources and the main layout elements of Play It. And you might be asking, well, what is a data source? A data source is what drives all the data that you see in Play It. And currently we have support for two data sources. The first one is a web service, which is partially supported. And we have some demo files that will help you work through that. But the one that we'll be covering in most detail and throughout the rest of the videos is an XML configuration file. And we can see what that configuration file looks like by clicking on the configuration link in the upper right hand corner. And we'll see here real quickly that it's just a basic XML file. And this XML file has all the attributes and everything that we need to draw play it. So there really is no programming required. You just fill in the attributes and set it up and play it will do the rest. Now let's go ahead and look at the main layout elements of play it. Up here at the top, we are gonna see that there is a toolbar. And the toolbar consists of some basic elements that help you drill down into seeing the various elements within your view panel. Um, and we'll talk about the view panel here in a second and go into more details about that. Now the left hand side over here is the navigation menu. And what this consists of is sections and categories. And as we drill into each one of these categories, we can see that it will actually drive the data in the view panel. And the view panel is over here on the right hand side and it contains all the information that is currently bound to a particular category. So as we click on each one of these categories, we can see that the data is being redrawn. Now, the thing to know about categories and sections within the navigation menu is that this information is all queried specific to a particular category. So you fill in all the elements that you want for a particular category and only those elements will be shown in the view panel. And the categories can have several different data types. The data types are image type, a video type, an audio type, and links. And as you can see here, we have demonstrations for each one of those in the All About Play It demo. So this should be a good high coverage of data sources and the main layout of Play It. All right, so in this example, we're gonna cover the different view types in Play It. Currently, there are four different view types. There's the grid, the list, the tile, and direct linking. Now, we're not gonna go into all the details of the audio, the image, the link, and how they work in this particular section. We'll cover those a little bit later on. Is what we're gonna show is the different view types that are available within the view panel. Now, the first view type that we see here is the grid. And the grid is just that. It's a grid of data that is bound to um, specific items within your XML. Now, as you can see, this information is sortable based on ascending or descending order. And you can add as many columns as you see fit to your 
um, data source. So if you wanted to say add a column called my band, you could easily do that and you could make it sortable or default sort on it if you want. Now the next view is the list view and this just lists that exact same data in a list format and it also is sortable and these particular sort elements up here at the top are also customizable so if you didn't want to sort on artist you could easily remove that or if you wanted to sort on additional items you could add those too. Now the last view is the tile view and what this does at least at the audio level is it helps to group your albums and your soundtracks together into an album type format and it is also customizable just like the list view and you can actually change the album artwork so that it scales or descales based on this slider view here now one thing to note is that within play at each one of these categories you can program what view you want to see so if you only wanted a particular view for a particular category you can bind that category only to a specific view and that gives you some flexibility on what views you want to see now the last view that we're going to take a peek at is what we call direct linking and is what this does is it allows you to take a category and link it directly to an asset such as a web page an image or whatever you want so in these two examples you can see that we're linking directly to either a web page or an image so this should cover the different view types within play it so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the audio media type now when you have a category that is bound to an audio type it will always show the audio um, player bar down here at the bottom and the audio player bar is capable of moving through soundtracks you can do pause you can shuffle you can loop you can change the volume you can mute and you can move forward or back in the time sequence of a particular audio file now if you want to um, add additional information um, say you wanted your own custom HTML you can add that information in the information box as you can see this will open up an information box and you can put what really whatever you want in here your own custom HTML you could put a shopping cart you could put links to Amazon you can do pretty much whatever you want information about the audio track or the podcast and that gives you a way to customize what each one of these tracks says or doesn't say and you also have the ability to not show it for a particular track if you don't want that to show. Now as you move through each one of the views you'll notice that the um, actual song that's playing at that particular time will stay selected and continue to play and it will find it in the next view. So this is a great feature so that you can kinda move through the views and still retain the play of every song now you also have the ability within the tile view to group your albums so say you had several different tracks on this album you'll see as I forward to the next one it just moves the track and it doesn't actually move to the next song and this is what allows you to play albums within the audio view so the next media type that we want to look at here is the image type and just like the audio you have the three main views and as we go through each one of them you'll see that the views are very similar to the audio the only difference with the image link and video is that there is no concept of grouping on the particular albums it just shows the data as it is and you can drill down into any one of these pictures by clicking on it and as what this will do is open up the image viewer and the image viewer shows all of the images in a thumb view down here at the bottom of this particular category and we can move through each one of these images by clicking the next image button and as you can see it just moves through the thumb viewer of each image we can also move to the next group by clicking the next group button and this will just see um, the next group within this particular view list now each image also has the same concept of information so if we jump back here to the first one where we have some information available for it we see that we have an information icon down here at the bottom and we click on this guy and we'll see that just like in the audio we have a full customized section where we can place our own HTML and iframe just by anything you want in here 
um, about your image. And this information is all customizable to you. And as in the audio example, you can either enable or disable this per image. Now, there is also a player on um, each image where you click the play button. And what this will do is it will create a slideshow of the particular images that we're going through. And it'll just, you'll see the progress bar down here at the bottom moving through. And you can set the duration of this to last as long or as short as you want. So all this information is highly customizable in the configuration file and very easy to use. So that should be the full coverage of the image media type. So the next category media type that we're going to be looking at are links. And links are just a great way for you to organize all of your links into a nice comprehensive interface. And just like in audio and images, we have the exact same views available to us, which are grid, list, and the tile view. Now, if we want to look at some demonstrations of how the links work, the All About Play at Demo has some great examples of how you can uh, formulate your links. So we can actually open up new windows um, by setting um, specific features within the um, node of that particular link. And if we wanted to target that same window, we can do it just by clicking this uh, next demo. And as you can see, it just opened up a whole new link on this particular page. Um, we can open up larger windows. We can control the size of the windows and we can point them to um, other assets. So for example, if you're using an HTML5 browser, you can point it directly to an MP4 file. And as you can see here, it opened up that MP4 file directly right there. We can open up in the same tab that we're in now. We can open it up in a new tab and target just about any location within um, the browser. We can also do direct linking, which we showed a little bit earlier, which will do a category directly linked within the Play It view panel. So this should be a good overview of the links within Play It. So the last media type that we're going to look at are videos. And just like audio images and links, we have the exact same views available for the video. And when we click on a particular video, let's go ahead and pause this first one here. We'll see that there is a back and a next button. And what this does, if we drag this window over here a little bit, is it allows us to move across each one of these videos in the grid. So if I click next, you'll see right over there on the right-hand side that it moved to the next video that I'm linking to. And just like audio and images, we have the same concept of information where we can put all of our custom information about this particular video, links, whatever we want to put in here um, directly on the video information button. And this is a toggle button that will toggle the video and the information. So the information um, on this particular video is very easy to turn on and off, just like the other ones. You can enable or disable based on the configuration file settings. Now, if we close this down, we also can link directly to a video. So if I go ahead and play this video, we'll see that we have the ability to link directly to this video right here in the window. So this should cover a full overview of the videos. So to wrap up this video, I wanted to show you the theme ability and the localization um, capabilities of Play It. Right out of the box, Play is 100% theme roller ready, which means that you can easily apply all the different themes that come with the theme roller tool. And because theme roller is so diverse, you can easily customize Play It to exactly what your site looks like. And there's a whole tool out here, a whole tool set that will allow you to customize and roll, uh, play it up into a theme system that looks exactly like your site. And play it is 100% localizable, which means you can easily customize the whole system to any language that you want. It comes with language files, so you can use it with whatever language you want to support.